Moby, you forgot to fill the gas tank. Dear Tim and Moby, are we running out of gas? Thanks, B. Hey there, that's a complicated question. The short answer is no, not yet. But for a better answer, you've got to know a little bit about petroleum. Petroleum, or crude oil, forms when tiny little sea animals and plants die and then get mixed up with sand and silt on the sea floors. As more and more sediment piles on top of them, they get compressed by immense pressure and heat. Petroleum forms from this compressed organic matter. Because of its low density, petroleum flows upward through the cracks in rock. Sometimes it reaches the surface, and sometimes it gets trapped by dense layers of rock, forming reservoirs of petroleum called oil fields. This oil can be very thin, or so thick that it can hardly be poured. People have known about surface petroleum for thousands of years, using it for sealing cracks in boats, lighting torches, and even waterproofing cloth. But it wasn't until the 19th century that people figured out that they could drill deep down into the earth to pump up reservoirs of oil. They also began to refine crude oil, extracting fuels like gasoline and kerosene from it. Since then, gas and oil have transformed our civilization. Oil is used to make countless products, and its byproducts, like gasoline and other fuels, let people move around the world and even out of this world in ways that would have been unimaginable a century ago. Well, at first, oil looked like a great replacement for coal, the main source of energy for centuries before oil was used. It's more efficient than coal, causes less pollution, and works better in small engines. But burning petroleum still has some major downsides. It releases carbon dioxide into the air, which scientists agree contributes to the greenhouse effect and global warming. And oil spills can be devastating to wildlife. Plus, there's a pretty limited supply. Petroleum is produced naturally, but really, really slowly, as in over millions of years. So we're using it up a lot faster than it can be replaced. Worldwide, experts think there are probably about a trillion barrels of oil that can still be extracted. In 2003, the U.S. consumed 20 million barrels of oil per day. That's about 25% of all the oil used by the rest of the world. At that kind of rate, the world's supply of petroleum could be used up in just decades. The threat of an oil shortage is actually one of the factors that contributes to gas prices. Even if you don't drive, you've probably heard people talking about the rising cost of gas. You might have even seen that the price of gas at the pump can change overnight, sometimes dramatically. Gas prices will often rise when there's high demand, like during the summer or over holiday weekends when a lot of people will be driving. A natural disaster like a hurricane that affects oil refineries will drive up gas prices too. So will war or conflict in parts of the world that produce a lot of crude oil. To decrease our reliance on petroleum, researchers are working on ways to make engines more efficient. They're also working on techniques that will let them extract even the oil that's very hard to get, but that may not be enough. So they're working on other sources of energy. Yeah, it's a good idea to try to use gasoline wisely. It's hard to get by without it, but there are some simple steps you can take to reduce your consumption, like taking public transportation, combining errands into one trip, or carpooling to school. But I, I, I just need a little bit just to mow the rest of the lawn.